Hey everyone, welcome back to Jackie Teaches Finance, where I'll be sharing different financial topics with you every week. Now, from time to time, there will be special topics or situations happening around the world where I think it's worthwhile for us to look into it and see if we can learn something from it. Since Monday, you probably have heard a lot of news go something like this. Wait, what do you mean? Negative oil price? So they pay me to take oil off? Does that mean that I can go into a gas station right now and make money by pumping my car? Well, no, that's gasoline you're talking about. We're talking about crude oil here, which is unrefined oil waiting to be converted into gasoline. But basically, yes, people at one point were paying other people to take oil off of their hands. So why is this happening and what does it mean for all of us? Well, there are two major reasons. Number one, because of COVID-19, everybody has to stay home. The world reduced oil consumption by 29 million barrels. That's one third of the demand. Because think about this, everybody has to stay home which not only reduced driving, it also greatly reduced restaurant consumptions. So less eating out or less grocery shopping, that means less delivery needed. So less oil is needed because we don't need as many trucks to drive food around and do other things. So oil is basically in everything that we consume in the world today. When the world has to stay home, the consumption will drop and so does oil demand. The second reason is Saudi Arabia and Russia went into a price war a month ago. So by going into price war, not only their supply didn't drop to match the demand, actually, they wanted to increase supply. With those two elements combined, that's what collapsed the oil price. Basically, the storage fee cost more than the oil barrel itself. And that's why at one point, people who own this oil were actually paying other people to take oil off of their hands. Hence, the price became negative. So what does this mean for us then? Well, there are five key points, basically. One, we're going to see much lower gas price in the future. Two, a lot of the oil companies are probably going to go under. Three, the domino effect will be jobs related to the oil will be affected. There are probably going to be a lot of wage cut or even layoffs. Four, countries will benefit if they're importing oil because the price is so cheap right now. So countries like Japan or Germany are going to greatly benefit from this. Five, on the other hand, countries that are exporting oil, like Canada, is going to be greatly affected because majority of their revenue is going to be greatly reduced. Now the question is, will this last? Answer is no, because oil price can't stay this cheap for very long. It's going to hurt a lot of the countries that are exporting oil. So eventually, even if COVID-19 doesn't improve, the price war is going to have to end. Next is the most important question is, should I jump into oil right now? Well, yes and no. You definitely have an opportunity to make profit. But be very aware if you're buying stocks of a specific oil companies. Like I mentioned, many companies are going to have issues. So it doesn't matter if oil price went back up in the future. If the company you bought into no longer exists, your stock means nothing. You could consider going into mutual fund or ETF instead. That's basically more spread out to buy the whole sector by buying many different companies instead of betting into one specific companies. However, regardless what you pick, you still have to expect a lot of turbulence going ahead. If you really want to buy into oil, then make sure you're working with money that you're willing to potentially lose. Or you can do other things like daily cost averaging into oil, which will give you a much better chance of making a profit in the long run. This is something I'll talk about in another video. So that's all I want to share today. It's just a quick update and a quick case study of what oil is doing right now. I hope you found it interesting. If you like these videos and want more in the future, hit the like and subscribe button. With that being said, thanks for tuning in. I hope you learned something today. This is Jackie Teaches Finance. See you in the next video.